Finally, we're gonna render a crowd in Houdini 20 with Karma. It's my style, come on. This is Dyson. Welcome back. And this is my studio today. You see, a fresh air. Why am I here? Because of Karma in Houdini 20. It's on my nerve, honestly, these days. Because I'm using that in pro in production uh, project. As you can see, you see, I have uh, this upcoming project. I have this glitching and a lot of bugs and error in XPU. But yeah, having said that, I needed this fresh air. Okay. With that, let's back to my studio. Okay, we're back. About this video, we're gonna do a crowd, a big crowd in Houdini 20. We're gonna render that with Karma, of course, and we're gonna handle first the performance, which I will uh, talk about that in my Patreon. And the second thing, the UV and the shading, of course. And we're gonna do a variation and crypto mat for the compositing. Okay, before we begin, if you enjoy this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And if you have any question or suggestion, leave me in the comment section. On my Patreon, we talk about this uh, concept how we can import a crowd a simulation using SOP Crowd Import. This is an awesome node, optimized node, honestly. And we're gonna do a proxy concept or proxy workflow with that. And as you can see, we have this proxy mesh. We're gonna enhance the performance and we're gonna add additional layer to that using a payloads concept. And yeah with that and we're gonna enhance the performance of the crowd and big thanks for these awesome people thank you guys you made my journey much much easier okay let's begin we're gonna use this scene from this tutorial and as you can see we have this wolf and i add a simple layer to it i want to i want to uh, prepare a cool scene with the crowd you see i add that uh, for for instance this armor to this uh, wolf and i add the layer using a uh, agent layer and a sign layer i talk about that in this tutorial and i uh, prepare another agent a ninja you may say and i download that from miximo and i uh, combine that with agent relationship which i talk about that in this tutorial and with that you see you can see all uh, the playlist crowd in here we have decent uh, crowd because i am crowd geek i'm trying to learn every day honestly and yeah uh, i simulate that you see that and I import that in sub import. Okay, uh, now we're gonna increase the number of the crowd, maybe 300, 400. You see, I wanna go big. And we're gonna handle that later on on my Patreon, the performance. And you see, we have packed geometry, each point for each agent. Okay soon as i unpack this large simulation you see uh, first let me show you the agent okay you see we have this ninja uh, with the filtering the name attribute and this wolf you see but pay attention we don't have any uh, name for the layers we're going to talk about that later on you see we have this performance which is decent it's packed geometry you see we have 24 FPS and soon as I unpack that, you see that? Let me show you. Soon as I pack that, the memory or the RAM will fill that uh, with the actual geometry. You see that? And we have the actual geometry and let's play that. That will be disaster. Oh, be careful with that. You see, we don't need to unpack that unless we uh, we want to manipulate uh, the crowd you see so i add a ragdoll to it and i cache the 
simulation. You see, we have a ragdoll, we have a layer, we have two agents, okay? This is a, a pretty uh, decent crowd to uh, do that in Karma, you see? Now, let's have a LARP network. This is a Solaris and let's begin. Let's do with the sub import first. And now, as you can see, we have our crowd. You see that we have that as an unpacked crowd. That's the downside here. And let's build decent scene, physical sky, blah, blah, blah. And karma setting, a new camera. And yeah, let's see, we have the first scene. Okay, let's do a UV or material to it. Let's do a Karma material builder and blah, blah, blah. We're gonna assign that with material linker. That's the catch. You see, we have this awesome hierarchy and we have the agent name and we have everything in here, the mesh, okay? Now the material linker, it's so handy with the rules assignment. Let me show you what I mean by that. You see, uh, let me show you, we have all that and yeah, let me see. Okay, now we're gonna assign all uh, uh, this material to all of that. We're gonna use this expression, you see? And let me see. Okay, maybe that, yeah. We have all the agent now, you see that? And this is the uh, ninja, see? or the rider you may say and let me show you we can uh, tweak the material and we're gonna i want to uh, prove to you we have this material uh, assigned to all the rider or the ninja now for example if you have a uv for this one uh, we uh, we're gonna uh, load our texture using material x image node and we're gonna connect that and out of the box the uv it will work even with the packed uh, crowd you see that let me show you you see we have the texture and the uv and that's straightforward variation how we can randomize thing in here for instance the first uh, approach would be a randomized attribute. We're gonna randomize the CD or anything or any attribute you want. And we're gonna randomize that only for the wolf, for example. You see, we have a random color for this uh, wolf uh, agent. And we're gonna use that in Karma. You see that? By default, Karma will load uh, the color attribute by but we need a more control of that and let's do a new material and we're gonna do this new material x geometry property this is a new one uh, it will load uh, the geometry property like print bar reader okay uh, and now as you can see we have this display color that's a cd uh, okay and now we have our color and uh, in here we need to assign that uh, to the wolf agent and this is our expression and yeah voila we have our randomization uh, in the wolf you see that's the proof we have our material assigned to the wolf and we have a randomized color this is the first method you see that and now uh, for instance, what if we want uh, to assign a uh, variation to the layer? You see, do you remember when I say we don't have any name attribute for the layer? So the hard, uh, the, the, sorry, the hard approach will be this. You see, we're going to unpack the geometry. We're going to select the layer and we're going to do a randomization color and we're going to pack that. <laughs> Who needs that? Let's delete all that. I have a uh, cool alternative with that. And this one, it's on the uh, material node in Solaris. Let's go there. And let's go. Let's create a new material for the armor. 
and yeah armor sorry and let's go in here and you see let's assign that okay armor and let's okay search that okay we have armor and bunch of thing see that and we need just the geometry okay let's filter that okay now we assign that but nothing happened let's restart the renderer and yeah nothing happened because the material is not assigned let me see what is the problem nah it's not that okay let's investigate let's go here to the armor a few moments later okay i found the problem we need to assign that for the definition too but let me show you you see these three objects one of them it's uh, not supposed to be that uh, it's not supposed to be there and let me show you here and i need that one okay and yeah and this one and let me see we don't uh, need the material let's see okay we have that and you see that's assigned to the all the wolf we need to remove this one and voila we have our material that was so hard now we have the armor material let me show you here and we're gonna uh, change that you see and we're gonna assign a random color to the armor or to the layer we have this awesome material x random color you see it will give us a random color but we need random color for each of the layer or for each uh, agent so for that we have this awesome id attribute for each agent you see i want to show you here and we're gonna use that let me show you how we can use that okay we're gonna uh, read that from usc prim bar i want to show you a different way to read attribute in here okay now let's change that it's integer and boom we have this awesome technique without going to have randomized attribute and of course we have more control here we, you can uh, control a saturation uh, the uh, hue uh, value for the random color you see it's perfect okay crypto mat what if we want to composite that and we need to select every unique agent you see if we have this uh, crypto mat uh, it will give us unique color for each primitive but we need for each agent you see we're gonna change that to the material and voila that's awesome you see with this awesome technique you can improve your crowd in karma see you in the next one peace out